So, Tommy's gonna be meeting Claude Flynn for the first time. And this was an exclusive clip that was released a few days ago. But where we saw Tommy working with Diamond and the CBI last week, we're now gonna see him working with the Flynns. Because Tommy wants to stack as much paper as he can. And he's beginning to realize, to do this, he needs to sandwich himself between the Flynns and the CBI. And he needs to understand the beef between them. But he also needs to start building his own organization, which is what we're seeing him do. Liliana is going to be crucial to Tommy because she's been in Chicago a lot longer than he has and she may know some things about the Flynns that he doesn't but we're going to see Tommy working with Vic Flynn and maybe Claudia and coming face to face with Walter again because Tommy doesn't take orders. So in this video we're going to run through the synopsis, interview quotes, the exclusive clip that was released between Tommy and Claudia and JP and D-Mac and all the other various storylines and all the episode 3 images. But let's start with the synopsis for Firestarter, which reads, Tommy finds himself face to face with a ghost from his past. The reunion unearths a discovery when Tommy stumbles across hidden product. Tommy brokers a sit down between rivals and learns the true nature of the feud. So let's start with how he's come face to face with Liliana from his past. And just to add to this, Joseph Sikora recently gave an interview where he said, he's gonna have to be a student, he's gonna have to keep that head on a swivel, and he's gonna have to take risks, because he has to trust somebody, He's got to make these moves in some capacity or at least trust these people are going to get in product so he can move that, flip it and then get cash. Then it's up to him. So these are a few of the images from episode 3 which kind of backs up what Joseph Sikora said with how he's going to have to trust somebody and I think that somebody is going to be Liliana and he's going to have to realise that he can't hold on to this grudge that he kept from season 1 of power. He has to adapt, change and think how can he make this situation with Liliana benefit him. So everything that he learned from Ghost, Kanan and all the connects that he had, this is what we're going to start to see him use because we're going to see a somewhat different side to Tommy, a side that we've only seen in glimpses because when we were introduced to Tommy and Ghost, they had this organization built where they'd been working for Felipe Lobos for 6 months before we were introduced to them but the routes, buyers and everything that he learned from doing the drops with Diamond in episode 2 could be huge because he's going to tell Liliana there's a gap in Chicago that they can take advantage of now one thing I do hope they come back to is this, does this belong to the Jimenez cartel? And if it does, where did Liliana get this product from? If she's selling it, did she steal the product or is she working with the Jimenez? So hopefully we start to get some more answers as the season goes on. But it seems like the teacher has now become the student and Liliana is going to be teaching Tommy because he's going to come across a new product which maybe Liliana is showing him how to make. And this is what Joseph probably meant by him becoming a student again. But let's move on from Liliana because she's not the only one who's found a new product, Claude Flynn has as well. So we're going to see her with Mai again and Mai is actually one of my death predictions for the season. I really don't think Mai is going to make it out of this season alive. But from what we've seen so far from Claude and the Flynns, she clearly doesn't like the position that Walter has her playing because she's ready to do her own thing which of course will always get backlash from Walter but it's definitely not going to stop her because something which we learn from a character description is she's a fire starter and she doesn't need permission to set things in motion. But let's talk about this exclusive clip where Gloria rolled up on Tommy because these two certainly look as if they have chemistry. All Claude needs is the red hair. But regardless of them seeming like they have a bit of chemistry, they're also serious about being competitors because Tommy seems like he's come across a new drug with Liliana as the synopsis tells us and as we went through with the new images but we also know Claude has also found a new drug thanks to Mai. So we're going to see Tommy telling Claude that he's here in Chicago to earn every single last dollar till he's running it. But Claude isn't afraid to stand up to Tommy and go against him because she said he's always going to be a dollar short because she's got something that will kick his teeth in a thousand times over. But this is going against the way Walter does business because he believes they have drugs that are dependable and these new drugs they just come and go. And will Walter be proven right as the season goes on? That's the question. But we also see Tommy playing on the position that Walter has Claude playing, telling her that whatever Walter has her doing is nowhere near where she should be. And notice how this is very similar to what he did with planting the same seed in Diamond's mind in episode 2. And you can bet Tommy knows exactly what he's doing. Now we're also going to see Tommy working with Vic Flynn, where we see them running into trouble themselves, but nothing that they can't handle. But this is something what I'm looking forward to seeing. This meeting with Walter and his organization where he arranges a sit down between the Flynns and the CBI because there is definitely some history between two of Chicago's crews because you could sense the tension between Vic and Jannard in episode 1 when Jannard said they were going to try and pin the body of one of the Yardies on the CBI. So whatever the history is between the Flynns and the CBI, we're about to find out. 
But where there's drugs, beef, death, and violence, there's always going to be some sort of law enforcement. And they made heavy reference to this in episode 2. Because Chicago was crawling full of cops. Because there's been some recent shootings. And this is bad for business. But Diamond definitely realized it wouldn't be such a bad thing to have Tommy on your side. Because we saw him using his privileged circumstance. But this is someone who Diamond definitely needs to watch. Officer Bennigan. And I'm sure as smart as Diamond is, he's definitely going to have his head on a constant swivel. But I definitely think there's some history here with Officer Bennigan and the CBI. Because he didn't turn up to Diamond's barber shop as a routine visit or on duty. So just like the Flins and the CBI, I think there's some history and background to learn when it comes to Officer Bennigan and what his problem is. But elsewhere, we've got Diamond and Jannard boxing. And Jannard is someone who I definitely think has a crazy side to him, which we're yet to see. And I think as time goes on, we'll see this side to him, as well as Diamond's killer side. Because you can tell, he is definitely someone who's holding back. But when he's put in a life or death situation that involves the CBI, I think this is when we're going to see Diamond really unleash. But let's move on from the CBI and look at this relationship between DMAC, JP and Tommy. Because this is something that they've been building from the start when JP was revealed as Tommy's brother. But then we found out DMAC is JP's son as well as Tommy's nephew. So we're going to continue to see this complex relationship when DMAC and JP come face to face. Because Marshall seems like he wants to attack his bar again. But this time, DMAC doesn't seem so sure. And when JP comes out to confront them, we really do see a change in DMAC's face. This looks like a face of someone who's seen his father for the first time face to face. And honestly, it really is only a matter of time before his true identity is revealed. Whether he comes out and tells JP that he's his son or whether Tommy's the one who figures it out. I'm sure this is something we're going to see as the season goes on. And this is why I believe DMAC and Tommy are going to build this close relationship. But let's move on and talk about a few of the other images that were released for episode 3 where we see Gloria and Vic together. Now, we're going to see them going to visit what looks like Gloria's mom's grave, where she lays down some flowers, and her name was Christina Rogers, and Gloria's surname is also Rogers. So, I'm sure that this is Gloria's mom, or at least one of her family members. And this is something I mentioned before. Gloria is someone who's definitely suffered a lot of trauma in her past life, with death of loved ones, her husband who deployed and never came back. So, you can say she's definitely suffered her fair share of loss, just like Tommy has. And this is why they connect with each other, because they both had to toughen up because of their heartbreaks and setbacks. Which is why Gloria's got this tough outer shell, where she said she got herself into this mess with the Flins, so she'll get herself out. But this is why I also believe it's going to be very difficult for Tommy and Gloria to build a relationship because of the past life that they've had. It seems like everything is fresh and raw for both of them. And just to add some more spice to this, there's also Vic who loves Gloria, but then there's also Walter who would never accept her. So it does seem like we're going to learn more background and history when it comes to Gloria's past, the CBI and the Flynn family beef, Liliana and Tommy's relationship, as well as DMAC and JP. So drop me all your thoughts down below in the comment section because it does seem like there's going to be a lot of depth and history in episode 3. So drop all your thoughts down below and of course if you're new to the channel you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 4 Force and Power Universe related. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.